family, peace and blessings, peace and blessings, man. It's Mark the Messenger. This is the uncomfortable topic, the uncomfortable subject that men are scared to talk about, the addictions they have, the demons that are keeping them in bondage. I promise you guys at the end of this video, by the time you watch this, for those who are struggling with corn or you know lust, I promise you there's gonna be a solution by the time you finish this video, okay? And I wanna say this too as well, uh, about a couple days ago, about five years ago, a couple days ago, it was like around July 4th weekend, I don't remember the exact date, is when I talked to God and I told God, all right, I'm done, I'm done, you know, fornicating, I'm done masturbating, done watching corn. Like, this is just destroying me, it's destroying my energy. Uh, it's making me more of like a beta male, you know, uh, no confidence, no energy driven, no purpose, just lust, lust, lust every single day. When I wake up, when I go to sleep, and to give you guys a quick background, prior to me giving up corn, I started I started it in sixth grade. I had a friend give me a magazine. He gave me a magazine, and at first I thought it was like a car magazine because I, I like cars, or I thought maybe like a video game magazine. And he was like, oh no, it was like naked girls. And he's like, oh, just keep it. And like it was in my backpack for a couple of days. And I didn't want my dad to see it because you know, I would do homework. I was like, oh shoot, I remember he went to the bathroom real quick and I opened opened in my backpack. I'm like, oh my gosh, like, you know, <laughs> like this is real. I'm letting you guys know how the addiction started in public school. The, that's how the programming starts. And from there, I remember I had a PSP. Uh, Gen Z probably doesn't know what a PSP is. Millennials, you guys know what it is. It's pretty much like a portable PlayStation. And back then, there wasn't it wasn't easy to get Wi-Fi. You know, I remember I had to go to all the way to the end of the street because one of my neighbors had Wi-Fi. And I would go on the PSP and I'd go on that website and I'll save the pictures. And then you know that's how the addiction started. And from there, I think it was from sixth grade. I was twelve or thirteen years old, sixth or seventh grade. And then from there, all the way to twenty-five years old, it was an everyday thing. Like I think I probably took breaks within that twelve years that where that demon kept me in bondage. Maybe like out of that 12 years, maybe like 50 days, you know, if even. It was an everyday thing, guys. Getting the lotion out, getting the coconut oil, it, it, it was, it's disgusting. And it's embarrassing to talk about this, but we have to, we have, to have these uncomfortable talks because this is how we grow as men, okay? And how I was able to overcome the addiction, was it because of God? You know, was it because it was a sin or I'm going to go to hell? I'm going to be honest with you guys. Yes, it was, it was because of God. But was it because I was going to burn in hell or because it's a sin? It wasn't because of that. I didn't know what sin was. I didn't even know what that word meant. I didn't know that I was going to burn in hell for committing this, this sin. I had no idea about that. And now that is good to quit because that puts the fear of God in you. But the honest reason why I quit is because I started to realize, I started to get it conscious and realize like I'm watching another man have intercourse with another woman and I'm getting myself off to it. Like, why don't I be that man that's doing that? You know, now, of course, two wrongs don't make it right. You don't want to just be doing that with a whole bunch of women. You know, you want to get you a wife, start a family. But that's the that's seed that planted in my mind. And God, what God will do is that he will send people your way if it's not just on the internet, also in, in real life. You know, and I had a guy who came up to me, shout out to Darius, and he, he all my friends were washing corn. It was like, the, it was the normal thing to do. Everyone washes corn, it's normal, right? But he, there was this one one guy who who became me, me and him became like brothers, like best friends. And he told me he was like, "Yeah, I haven't washed corn. I haven't masturbated in o almost seven years now." And I'm like, seven years? I I've even been at the, at the time I never even been a week on it, you know." So and one thing I noticed about this guy, he was full of confidence, even though he was he was overweight. He's short, like five seven. He, every time I would be out with him, this guy would get all the girls. He was overweight. He had man boobs. He was short, like five seven. And no, he just had like this crazy confidence. Every girl, no matter if she was the finest, the fat, finest one in the city, he would go up and talk to her, and, and she, they would like, and she would vibe with them. I'm like, I'm like, what's the secret? What does he do? Like, what does he do? And I remembered he told me about. Now he didn't, he didn't say steam or attention. He didn't say no fap. I don't even. I, actually, that that word was was common back then. No fap has been around for a while. Steam or attention is probably like 2018, 19 when it started getting a trendy. But I, I didn't know about any of this through YouTube or through any social media. And so I was like, all right, I'm gonna try this out. And guys, this is how I stopped watching it now. I'm gonna keep going off the story. Uh, so I was like, all right, bro. I'm, I'm, and I, this is when I started developing my relationship with God. And you guys out there, to overcome the demons, you gotta have a relationship with God. You gotta have a relationship with the Son of God, Jesus Christ. You have to, bro. Because the, the, the Spirit of Christ in you, because remember, Christ was a man without sin. So when you have the Spirit in you, it's gonna be a lot easier to overcome. You're gonna be more stronger in the Spirit, okay? You're no longer gonna wanna live for the flesh, okay? You're no longer gonna be prone and defeated when it comes to spiritual warfare because Christ overcame it all. He overcame the enemy. And you know, through the wisdom and knowledge and through the Holy Spirit, you're gonna be able to overcome any addiction through your obedience, okay? Now, of course, we could willfully sin, we could willfully, you know, be uh, rebel and disobey God. But you know, once you understand that you have a true love for God, when you have that heart, 
you know, where you have a true love for God and you want to, you know, do your best, do your best of your ability, I promise you guys, God will reward you. Okay, the longer you retain, the longer you uh, abstain from your fleshy lusts, okay, uh, fornication, masturbation, corn, not just that, there's also other things too as well. I'm telling you, God will bless you, man. And so let, let me go back to the story real quick, all right? And if you're liking the channel, guys, don't forget to like, like the video, subscribe to the channel. So let me go back to this. So I was like, all right, I'm going to try this out, bro. And like I said, this is all new to me. I've never, I've never done any of, I never seen her judge. What the heck is that? I never did any of that. And I noticed like on day seven, I just started feeling like, a, a, I started feeling so much happier and so much energized. Like I was like spiritually dead when I was doing that every single day. Just on day seven, I started seeing benefits. And I started feeling more confident on top of that too. I was going to the gym. I just got gym membership. He would put me onto so much stuff. He was like a brother that, he was like a, a friend that stayed closer than a brother, man. Me and him would hang out like every single day. And uh, like, I wanna say within a month, I started being like him. Like I would just, you know, back then I would never approach any girls. I would be scared. And I'm gonna talk about this too in a bit. So people, because I know a lot of you guys in your 20s, your whole life is for a woman. Your whole life is chasing women, talking to women. And let me tell you how much of a distraction that is. I'm going to talk about it at the end of the video. So please stick around. I know some of you guys have that attention span that's not really that long. Okay? So I started doing that. I started talking to all these girls. I'm like, this confidence just came on me. I'm like, what the heck? Seamer attention. This is a real thing. This is a real thing. And I started seeing the benefits quick, like just like that. And I just started thanking God. Like I just started feeling more like righteous. Right? Like I really started feeling more righteous and I felt more connected to God because best believe when you're entertaining those demons, when you're playing with those demons, uh, man, those demons are going to destroy you. They're going to take you down the wrong path. You know, they're going to take you to, to hell, man, to the lake of fire. And so I didn't want to go there, bro. Like I started at that time, I slowly started developing the fear of God slowly, but slowly. It's all a seed. Oh, see, now that my seed is a big old tree, you know, now it's a big old tree. So, you know, it's all patience. You know, God is very patient with us, right? And I just started getting the benefits and then I started to fall into fornication. Okay, now I started to see the benefits of same retention. Like, I'm, 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 I'm a man now. When you're watching corn every day, bro, you're like cucking yourself. You're making yourself more of a beta male. You know, you're, you're emasculating yourself. And when I stopped doing that, like I started to feel more like a man, bro, like that masculine energy, that testosterone showing up. Like I felt like a king, bro. Like that's what sleep protection will do to you, bro. Like for real, it's no cap. It's not, you know, some people get on the internet and say this and that, but I'm, I'm letting you know from experience, like I really felt like a man again, bro. I felt like who God created me to be, created in the image of God. And, but through that, I started to slip up through fornication. I started sleeping around with a whole bunch of girls. And I, as his man, we're so, we, it's our body wants sex so much. And you gotta understand this too as well. Like when you're over here just sleeping around with a whole bunch of women, people, women you don't even love, okay? You're gonna, I felt disgusted, bro. Like I felt disgusted. And God, you know, you remember God's very patient with us. So a couple months later, um, God, he chastised me. It's a long story, but pretty much like I found myself in a bad place I didn't wanna be in, you know? And through how I was able to overcome it all, my relationship with God, that's number one. He led me, man. He led, everything I did, even through my mistakes, even through my falls, you know, I'm not, a, I, I wasn't perfect and I'm still not perfect. I'm striving for it. But even through my falls and my shortcomings, God was still there. And that's why I encourage you guys all, man, to have a relationship with the Most High God. And, but you can't go to God, but first to the Son. You got to go through Jesus Christ. No man can go to the Father, but first to the Son. I believe that says that in John chapter 14, verse 6. And through that, guys, it's been five years. It was five years ago, a couple days ago. And I just think, of, I, I'm so embarrassed. Like, I'm so embarrassed to say like, wow, I used to watch another man have intercourse with another girl and get myself off to that. I used to get the lotion out. I used to have to close my door and lock and make sure my, my mom and dad it was sleeping. You know, that's so embarrassing, man. And I can tell you guys, that, that addiction, that it's a demon. You have to acknowledge the demons that we face, okay? We all have to acknowledge it. Once you have a spiritual mind, Okay, now sometimes it's your flesh, it's not always a demon. We can't always blame the devil, okay? Sometimes it's your flesh getting weak, but even in the midst of that, sometimes it's also a de it's demonic possession. When you're out here, and this is what helped me to overcome it. When you're out here in your bed, and you think, oh, the door's locked, no one's looking, the, window, the windows are down, no one's looking, right? But best believe in the spiritual realm, in the realm that we can't see with the physical eyes, there's demons around you and they're waiting on you to, to, op to open that door because all sin, it opens up a portal, a demonic portal in your life for demons to attack you. You ever notice when you get on semen retention for the first time, you stop, you know, um, you're playing with yourself, you stop doing those things, and then you start to get those wet dreams, then you start to get those dreams with the succubus, the succubus spirit I'd be telling you guys about in my videos, okay? And you, you start to realize that, right? That's how you know it's a spiritual warfare. I'm telling you guys, when it comes to overcoming these addictions, become more spiritual. 
And you can't become a spiritual man without having a relationship with God, without having the spirit of God in you. That's how you, that's how you become a true alpha male. All on social media, all these gurus, I'm an alpha male, I'm an alpha male, like all oh, BS. If you don't have the most high with you, you ain't no alpha male. It even says Jesus, the uh, Yeshua, okay, Christ, he was the first and the first and last alpha, okay? So you, how can you be an alpha male without having Christ in your life? So a lot of people are out here being deceived and fooled, man. Just as the Bible says, you know, Satan deceives the entire earth. Okay, so only having a personal relationship with him, having the Holy Spirit so it could lead you. And yes, guys, you're going to make many mistakes on this way, but being a slave to it, because think about it, we're living in a sin pandemic. Women are in control of this society today. Women are a rule of men. There's even a scripture that says that in the Bible in Isaiah chapter three, verse 12. Okay, so women are in control of men. Okay, and men are like defeated and it's all through the corn addiction. I'm telling you, that's, that's, not, that's, not the, that's not the main, the main thing is because they don't have God in life, but also these vices, these sins, you know, the corn addiction, that's keeping men in bondage, man. And like I said, I used to be that man. I used to be, so I'm speaking from experience and also seeing that out in the real world, man. And there's an agenda too to emasculate the man, to get y'all to get in the LG train, you know, that they're pushing on the masses, okay? To get you to be that, to get, you know, to be a reprobate pretty much. And, you know, so guys, you have to acknowledge it spiritually. The strongholds that we face, the demonic strongholds, the demonic spirits, that Satan is, you know, keeps man in bondage to, okay? You have to understand it's a spiritual warfare, okay? Once you give your life to Christ, once you live, give your life to God, the war now begins. You know, now there was always a war in your life, but the minute you do the right thing, you're gonna start to notice. If anyone thinks I'm crazy or I'm weird, because I know some people in the comment section are gonna say, oh, Mark, you're just crazy, or ha ah, ha scoffing and stuff like that. It's gonna happen. How about you stop watching corn? How about you give up your lust and see what happens? See how the devil's gonna attack in your dreams or maybe there's gonna be an agent, a devil, a demon that manifests in the physical realm that's gonna come as disguised as your lover, as a future potential girlfriend, a potential mate. And she's gonna send you back to your old ways. Okay, it's a spiritual warfare, guys. So understand that, man. And once I understood that, when I, back when I, I thought the door was locked, the, the windows were closed, no one's looking at me. When, when, that, when I thought that happened, you know, no one's looking, but in the spiritual realm, there's actually demons around you, man, watching you, looking at you, and you're just opening them door, opening to your vessel for demonic attacks, for demonic possession. So guys, be wise out here. Stay prayed up, okay? Stay prayed up. And like I said, guys, I overcame it, and I know you can too, okay? Through, the, through Christ, we could, we could do all things. He strengthens us, okay? Give your life to him, submit to him, surrender to him, follow the Holy Spirit, and I promise you guys, you're going to overcome the addiction too, guys. It's five years. Woo! Yes, yes, it's five over oh, five years. It's gonna be ten years, twenty years, guys. I have to, and like, you just have too much respect, bro. I have too much respect for myself to watch that. You know, like, it's just embarrassing to talk about. But one thing about my page and my channel, I'm very transparent. Like, I'm always honest with you guys and my shortcomings and the things that I used to do. It's very embarrassing to talk about, but you know, it it could be a testimony to someone. It could help somebody. It could inform somebody, empower somebody, and that's what it's all about. You know, we got to put our ego to the side, our pride to the side, and just become humble. Become humble beings and understand that yes, we have certain vices that we fight and battle with, but we could overcome it, man. So I hope this message bless one of you guys out there, whoever, how old, whether you're 13 years old or six years old. I know we all fight, but understand this, guys. Surrender to the Holy Spirit and have a personal relationship with the Most High God and uh, Jesus Christ, Yeshua. I'm telling you, you can overcome all things. I love you guys so much. If you haven't already, make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel, and share this video on all social media platforms. I love you guys so much. I'm out. Peace.